So the Romanian deadlift or the high hip deadlift, basically the same concept. I'm going here, only this time I'm not sinking my butt down. I'm going from right here, coming over, keeping a slight bend in my knee. I don't want to straighten my legs out. I want to make sure to protect my lower back by bending my knees a little bit. I'm right here, getting my hips a little bit higher, coming up. With this, it's always better to start out on a higher level and go down just in case you can't reach the floor. If you're not comfortable in this position, start out on a box or maybe start out on a rack to take a step back and then go down. If you do feel comfortable with it, there's nothing wrong starting from the ground. Right here, right back up. Okay, you can also modify these exercises for double kettlebells. So if I'm using both bells for this, I will kind of step my feet in between the bells or to the outside bells, whichever you feel more comfortable with. I personally like to go between the bells from here, sinking down. This is a suitcase deadlift, right here, right back down. Nice and controlled. All right, Romanian deadlifts. I can actually take the kettlebells out to the front of my feet. So from here, here. Again, nice and controlled. I don't want to be jerky in the bottom. All right, if you really want to get into it, go switch to one kettlebell, double hand top grip. From here, sinking down, bring one leg up and back. This is the single leg deadlift. Keeping control the entire time. Good. Remember, if you do it on one side, always want to switch, get it on the other. 